All right, man. So let's go ahead and talk about this future war that's going to be taking place eventually in Boruto, and that's the technology versus the old ways, you know, of the ninja and whatever you want to call it. But technology is slowly, you know, emerging in Boruto. We got trains, we got scientific ninja tools that are as basic as um, putting something on your arm so you can, you know, make a uh, mini fire style jutsu, mini water style jutsu. And we got things almost as complex as, you know, a motto of scientific ninja tools where he can modify somebody's body. And, you know, similar to like how Kawaki is, he can experiment on them to a point to where Kawaki is able to turn his body into a weapon, turn his body into a scientific ninja tool. So uh, there's this there's a slow immersion of uh, technology in the ninja world. And we've kind of seen it with, you know, the owl fight, how um, things are sort of changing and, you know, people that are formerly ninja are kind of leaning towards this new technology. And, you know, because like Al said, he said this very well, not everybody's born with your talents, right? Not everybody's born, you know, and they, there's sort of like a limit to their power, right? Not everybody can be Naruto level, uh, level strength. Not everybody can be Sasuke level strength, you know, even dry level strength. You can't really be that, you know, strong. So, and, you know, Naruto said it best. There's these threats that we're going to have to handle at some point, And I'm not going to, you know, he's not going to be there forever. So these ninja tools are going to help them fight these level, you know, strong level threats and, and you know, whatever. But, you know, and someone, you know, Boruto in the very first episode said, and, you know, I'm still a ninja. I think that what the like the main conflict is going to be in the future is these, you know, scientific ninja tools versus ninja. And now that we got the introduction of uh, Mado's cyborgs i think they're going to be a huge role into it too now the main issue that i have is i don't know how or who they're going to be fighting i'm guessing they're going to be fighting like the new car members with like all this cyborg technology and whatever but i'm assuming it's going to be that so so you know pretty much you know the leaf village the you know shinobi who are training you know sarada mitsuki buruto everything like that versus you know these new cyborgs with this insane technology and whatever and they're gonna be pretty much fighting you know for their you know i guess their bodies that they believe in but uh slowly and slowly uh technology is sort of taking over and it's very similar you know to how it is in the real world right um things change technology improves over time and now everything's gonna be stagnant forever and as technology you know improves in that whatever people are very reluctant to change and we can kind of see this with Boruto, right in the movie um, he was he was sort of interested in the ninja tools and he got used to them but after what he seen you know what they done he was reluctant to it and then he kind of got you know used to it because he saw how it could help people but I, I you know I'm figuring out that eventually that these tools are going to be taking over at you know some point and you're just gonna have to deal with it similar to like how Al you know has you know that machine gun and everything like that right because I'm pretty sure I don't know if a couple people were with me on this idea but when they were going to introduce ninja tools into Boruto, I thought they were going to come out with like like guns, like sniper rifles. That's what I thought they meant when they're like, yo, we got ninja tools. And like after Al's machine gun, I thought they were going to start sniping people and gats and Uzis. I, I, okay, so <laughs> this makes a lot more sense, you know, where they're going with like the whole Kawaki sense. But uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be this war. And I think that um, that's kind of what boruto and kawaki are going to be fighting for in the future now how kawaki sort of gets on that side i'm not too sure because uh kawaki seems a little more put together during that first episode and uh boruto doesn't so leading up to the episode may be a little bit of a you know confusion for now but i'm sure in these upcoming chapters they'll kind of uh they'll kind of make it more apparent uh but yeah so these, these new ideals you know being introduced into uh the world is definitely going to cause some conflict and I could definitely see people who sort of felt similar to like how Al felt and I felt just like weak, how they'll definitely gravitate towards these tools. Like this could be anybody. It could be like bandits that car hires. It could be anybody. And, you know, people can be armed and that could be, you know, the star of the war arming these people that feel like they're weak and whatever and sort of giving them that sense of power that they've been missing. So let me know what you guys think about this about this you know future war uh shinobi versus technology that you know is eventually going to erupt at any moment now but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy make sure you like comment and subscribe and join the discord and i'll see you guys later i'm out peace Sing. 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 Sing.